Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, Day 6. Um, start off looking at yesterday, which was Sailor Yurameku Amamo Yoi. This was, um, it's an interesting ink. In the splat, it's like, oh, is that pink? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a, I'm going to argue that it's like a green ink, kind of a light sage. It does have shading of um, pink and tan tones, but uh, kind of funky. And I had it in my Lamy Vista. That was a perfectly fine writing experience. So that was nice. Now, on to today. So we have here... Oh, I didn't grab some supplies. Okay. Here's our big thing to go through. Do some cuts to the deck. Swatch card. And I can't prove to you that I'm not looking, but who, who does it matter to but me? And we got here this. Um, and, oh, nice. Octopus Fluids Aubergine. Let's dig. Um, I didn't get enough sleep last night, so kind of, it was like the first one that I... It's feeling good. It's feeling auspicious, my friends. Um, anyway, I didn't get enough sleep. And so I'm kind of low energy. Apologies. Oops. Let's put that box right on top of my automatic pen. <laughs> um. Whoop. Oh, we got to pick a pen. <laughs> I'm struggling. I haven't had my tea yet. It is here. So let's have some. Now, what pen do we want to put this in? Maybe this one. I don't know. It's kind of bluer. This chunker is the better match. Let's go. I'm, I'm a little bummed because I have nail polish that kind of matches this pen. I was hoping to have, you know, nails that matched the pen. But I'm, no. We don't have the fortitude for that today. Uh, how are you all doing? We have training today at work. Looking forward to that. I think at the bottom there's like... Hmm. Um, what do I usually talk about? <laughs> the book... <laughs> that I'm transcribing is so like it's killing me like one of the major plot devices is that this girl like makes promises and is like she just is keeping with the letter of the the promise even when everybody's like you're a thief you're stealing and she's like I wish I could tell them the truth, but I made that promise. Just like, oh, come on now. Okay, so I guess we're not filling from here. I guess in many ways, these ink flight samples are like, don't try and fill with a size 6 nib. Um, at least that's my experience. That's okay. The feed is surely saturated now, and I will try to... Fill the 
converter with a syringe. Like miscommunication as a plot device is awful, right? When everything would be solved by people just like sitting down and talking. I don't want that. Does anybody? I mean, rom-com writers seem to think that people want that. But no, we don't want that. Okay, we need that open in a minute. No, nope, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just am like, how do I, how do I ink a pen? Do the swatch in here. Wait, let me throw that out of the way. So this is a this aubergine is by Octopus Woods. I think I said that, which is I think a German company, if I remember right. And it's got a good color, but it's not like actually super saturated as far as like you know, high sheen, etc. I'm looking forward to it. Let's uh, cap that and write some stuff. Zoom in. Let's go. Oh. And this is my small town pins. This is the Watts Rod Nib. And then a peacock plume. This is a... Amanda encouraged me to find greatness. <sighs> Pen. A.K.A. Amanda made me do it. But I can't say she made me do anything. I have free will. Amanda encouraged me to greatness. Okay. I've been trying to like write with my holding the pen like this instead of like this. So I normally hold it on the ring finger. But it's so hard and awkward. And right now, I can't spell, spare the brain cells to manage it. Me, 30 days. April 2023, day six. Did I say day six? It doesn't matter. That was in the past. We're in the future now. In future Maria. Well, now it's past Maria. Look. Get off my back, Maria. Octopus. Fluids. Aubergine. In small town, Watts, Peacock, Boom. Pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the color name. This is the first pen that I like emailed someone and said, hey. Can you make me this pen? And then they did. That's exciting. Right? I apologize for how utterly and totally out of it I am right now. I think you all understand. 
Let's move the T in anticipation of the splat. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Is it Maria? Yeah. I watched a video when one of Amanda's spots was basically a butterfly. That was cool. This is an aubergine, obviously. It's just, you know, not from Earth. Some kind of alien aubergine. Ooh, I am looking forward to today's ink. It seems like, like I had a bunch of inks that are sort of fussy in one way or another. And this is looking to be like not. This is looking to be just bog standard ink. Beautiful and uncomplicated. So, exciting, right? I think so. Um, look, it's got a little bit of this hint. I don't know if it'll come through. Of sheening up here, like a halo. Enough to add interest, but not to like make it dry on your nib. And in fact, you can see the halo and the really juicy writing here. At any rate, here's day six. Ugh, beautiful. And I picked a, re like, this pan is such a good choice because you, you can't tell. I don't think it looks like it goes with it very well. But it's like a red in one direction and a blue in another. So it, where they sort of meet and catch your eye is, like, very close to this aubergine color. At any rate, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. What ink and pen are you using today? Take care. Bye.